<laughs> I gotta fix my hair <laughs> back. Hello, brothers and sisters, sisters and brothers. It's your girl, Sister TV, and I am here with this week's 52 Weeks to Fabulous. And I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. I mean, not like I'm back, like in two ways, right? Um, I'm back, obviously, making videos, da 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 da. But I am back, like, in a way, probably from the dead. <laughs> <laughs> um, I don't know if you know, but unfortunately, although I really, really felt like I gave it my all, my all, my all, I was not chosen to be the host of Check Please. So, um, you know, although overall I still had a very positive outlook, I must admit that I sort of died in a way. <laughs> It's like, I feel like I'm coming back from the dead. I felt so, so bad about it all. I really, really, really needed it. I thought I needed it. I really needed that victory. So many things are going on and it would have solved a lot of really big, huge problems for me. And so it was really, um, it was really difficult for me not to have that happen for me. Um, and so, man, I, I got really depressed. I have been really depressed. It's only been a couple of days. I spent a couple of days sort of in the dark and twisty phase, which is funny because I spent like three days like just watching Grey's Anatomy. <laughs> like, I'll probably watch like t I, too many. I'll just say that one. I watched too many episodes of Grey's Anatomy and uh, Meredith is always talking about how she's dark and twisty, but I sort of fell into the dark and twisty. Um, and just... A couple days ago, I went to my mom's house and she said to me, she said, you know, Sana, ever since you, Mama TV, right? Uh, ever since you went to this, uh, the check it, please. <laughs> you, you don't wear your flower. Why? Why? Why you don't wear your flower? Hey, let me tell you something, girl. Don't you give up on yourself. Like she literally like shook me. And I guess I hadn't thought about it, but it was true. I stopped wearing my flower. I had sort of, sort of just retreated deep within myself. Um, like she, she said, you don't go on the book face and make the posting. You don't do the Twitter. You don't, uh, why the videos? You don't make the videos. See that TV. See that TV love you. Why? Where is she at? Why? She don't love you because she lost check with me. <laughs> and she can't tell that, she was really, um, she was like, you know, why have you stopped? Why did you stop making the videos? Why aren't you still doing you? And, I realized, man, I had just sort of, I was so down about it that I, I really was like, well, you know, life is over. Um, this, this horrible thing happened to me, da, 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 da. but, um, I believe it's Joel Osteen that I've heard say this before and other people have said this before, but I think this is the, 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 the lesson, right? Um, nothing happens to you. Everything happens for you. So I didn't win check, please. But this is not something that happened to me. This is something that happened for you. I didn't win check, please, because around the corner, there is something greater and more tailored to what I have. So you have to take that. So that's the week, this week's 52 weeks to uh, fabulous, um, is that nothing happens to you, everything happens for you. Another way to say it that I've really been keeping inside my head is that um, uh, an earthly rejection is sometimes a godly protection. So I... Um, received this rejection here um, on this one job. There are a million other jobs. I am talented. I'm strong. I'm, I'm going to cry. <laughs> I'm talented. I'm strong. And I know that although I really, really felt like I needed it now, um, God and the universe and every good thing in the world did not decide that I needed that specific opportunity. But so many good things came from it, and I'm sure so many good things will come from it. So I am not going to stop. I'm going to keep going, and so should you. Um, man, you know, not the host of Check Please, but I'm the host of Sister TV. <laughs> um, and I'm still me, and my light is still going to shine bright. I'm going to shine bright like a diamond. I'm going to wear my flower, Mama. I know you're watching. I'm going to wear my flower, Mommy. I'm going to shine my light, and I'm going to save myself, you guys. So I'm taking this projection as a protection, and I cannot wait to see whatever it is that God has lined up for me because this was pretty amazing, you know? <laughs> this is pretty amazing. I got really, really close. So whatever he does have for me, I know is going to blow my brain, like just, just totally blow me away. And I will not even, I, I, I will be so amazed at what God is doing, you know? Um, so I'm ready. 
I'm ready and I'm thankful. So that's the week, this week's The Fabulous. Don't be down if you didn't get something that you really wanted or something that you thought was yours, a relationship, a job, a house, a situation that you really thought was supposed to be for you didn't pan out the way that you thought it was supposed to pan out. It, there's a reason for everything. Every rejection is a protection. So accept it and keep it pushing because the answer is on its way. Uh, it's your girl, Sister TV. I have started blogging more often. So you can go to www.sistatv.com. I think I'll try to put the information here. SisterTV.com. And I'm going to try to blog more. And I've been making some um, motivational things and I've been writing about what's been happening if you want to sort of keep up to sort of what's been going on with me and all that stuff you can probably check it out on sistertv.com I sort of um all right so anyway that's your girl's tv if ain't nobody told you today get in the mirror and tell yourself uh but I'm gonna tell you right now because I do boo boo I love you sister tv loves you Mwah. now love yourself love yourself baby l-o-v-e-y-o-u L-O-V. I'm gonna write a song. See? Who these check I'm gonna be a smash song writer.